Hello everybody and welcome to another adventure map. Sherlock Holmes and the Blocky Conspiracy, made by Nan Tang. And I'll say right away, this map has a few notes in uh, text files. And I'm not going to read them all. So if you want to know the exact storyline, you'll have to play this for yourself. And in those text files, there are also links to YouTube videos, which are cutscenes of the note itself, which is a really nice addition and really fun to watch. Now on to the map. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to go to a mansion, which is uh, right here. That's it. Because what happened? Somebody stole a block of diamond in here. So let's see. Mansion. And yeah, there's uh, the whole story about the diamond. And I, as Sherlock Holmes, now am supposed to make my way up to the master bedroom in this mansion. And from there I can go to the library where the diamond block used to be. This is later. Not supposed to be there yet. That door doesn't open. So where's the master bedroom? After some searching I found it. It's right in here. And these are the stairs that go to the library. Ah, there it is. That's where the diamond block used to be, behind the glass. And it's gone, so yeah, what's Sherlock going to do? He's going to have a little talk with all the suspects. And the first suspect here is the chef, but, um, oh, uh, he wants me to gather some melons first that are in trees. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I have a look. Yeah, there are a few trees out here, so which ones have the melons? There should be four in total. Well, let's just chop a few down. See if there's anything in here. No, uh, no melons in here. Maybe this one. Uh, yes, that is a melon. All right, that's the first one. Anything else in here? No, no, no. Uh, let's check the next tree. Yes, ah, uh, okay, so they're all in the trunks apparently. That's the second melon. Next tree. This one doesn't have any melons in it. So let's try this one. Melons. No, no, no melon in here. Oh, nearly uh, hit you there, man. Careful. This tree, no melons, no melons. Next one. Yes, another melon. It's the third one. So one more left, maybe in here in this tree. Yes. Okay, so there we go. I gathered the four melons. Let's see if the chef has something to say. So here we go, a little talk with the chef. And uh, if you want to know what he has to say, I'll encourage you to play the map yourself. The download link is in the description. Hi. And off to the next suspect. 
And of course, another quest. Need to find a logbook in the library. Yeah. The personnel can't go to the library because it's crime scene now. And only I, Sherlock Holmes, and my trusty assistant Watson is allowed up there. Yeah, right in here through the master bedroom. Up these stairs and... Uh, oh, oh, in... It's not near the diamond block, I would have seen it. But here's like a little reading area. And that's the book I need. So let's take that back. There's your book and another little talk with the assistant this time. And again, if you want to know what he has to say, play the map yourself. Next suspect is the maid. This is the maid. And of course, any maid has a to-do list, and this one lost hers, so I'll need to find it. And it's somewhere on this floor. Well, let's just check everywhere. Don't need to book anymore, by the way. In here I haven't been. Empty chests. Aha! The to-do list. There we go. And back to the maid. So there's six suspects in total. And uh, you have to question them all. And then Sherlock uh, will deduce whether or not he thinks that person could be the culprit, the thief who stole the diamond block. Maybe the butler did it. Of course, the butler also has a quest to get some of his clothes back. Well, just uh, having to look through all the chests. Ah, that is a, his coat. Mm, in here, nothing. Next room. Nothing, just dies. And, uh, oh, uh, the boots. And nothing else in here. Okay, got it all, Mr. Butler. Here are your things. And the butler is telling me something and Sherlock is doubting his story. Gee, all the bowling alley, I see. Next suspect. Need to get some milk. Well, uh, I suppose it uh, it'll be good to be out of this mansion for a while. And now I'll need to find the general store where they sell the milk. And it should be near Baker Street, so right by my own house. Ah, a store. Right. The store is mess. Uh, I would say the store is a maze, but uh, that's just my personal opinion.
Oh, come on. Where's the exit? Oh, another level. Ah, there's a chest. How do I get to it? Uh, around here. Yes, there we are. Milk! Just what I need. Now quickly get back to the mansion. Because now I have milk to be delivered. Open here. And... Uh, to the left. To the nursery, which is right here. There you go, there's your milk. That's the nanny. And uh, of course the nanny was babysitting at the time of the theft. Ah, little baby villagers. Right, then we've had uh, a lot of the suspects already. Um. Oh, hello. Well, never mind that. One suspect remaining, and that's the gardener. So I suppose he's in his shed back here. Uh -huh. There's no gardener here, but according to the sign, I am in the right place. So let's see what that note has to say. Right, the gardener is indeed gone. and uh, But I can go down this hatch. Maybe he fled with the diamond block. Oh, what's this? A chest. Next part of the note says, this is the gardener. Well, that doesn't look too good. So only thing I can do is carry on here. And I'm in some sort of maze under the mansion, I suppose. What's this? Well, nothing else to do. Make my way through the maze and I come out here. Uh, where am I exactly? I have no idea. Never been in this room before. It is night time and I'm outside the mansion. And here's bed, so... Uh, Let's make a day. Now let's see where I am. And the next part of the story. I've finished questioning all six suspects. Well, at least, I mean, uh, the gardener is dead, so he's not a suspect anymore. Really? And that means I have to go back to the master bedroom, where the master of the house is. In this case, mistress, I think. Katja, and she sends me off to the warehouse where Professor Moriarty is supposed to be hiding. And at this point, Sherlock sends away his trusty assistant Watson with a note. And that's a good point for me to say goodbye for now. And I'll be back with part two sometime soon. So see you later.